Okay, now let's talk about uh, the keep talking about pandas, and uh, we are we're talking we are we are learning the uh, date time. This is how to process the the data of date and time, which is pretty often in the in the financial data. Uh, for example, in corporate finance, you need to have the firm year level uh, data or maybe firm month level data. And um, in asset pricing, you want to have the stock price. You want to have the, the quotes and trades data. Uh, maybe you want to have uh, the data to the millisecond level. Um, the each each uh, the buyer, potential buyer, or the sellers uh, order the quotes data and the transactions data. Okay, all these data need date time information. So we use the pandas to date time. Remember that we first import pandas as BD. And we use pandas to date time this, uh, this function to process uh, the, the data, the, the, the date time uh, information. And it has multiple arguments. We will learn the day first, the year first, the UTC and uh, box UTC returns UTC date time index which is very standard if the UTC option is true and uh, the box returns a date time index another date time index another standard when uh, this option is true let's take a look uh, first we want to have the one, two, three, four, five, six, six different formats of date time information. Here we have the year, month, date, and uh, uh, hour, minute, second. Here we have month, date, year, hour, minute, second. Here we only have um, the Remember that the default format is month, date, and year. Um, in the U.S. and a lot of other countries, uh, people use month, date, year. Uh, in the U.K., I think U.K. if I remember right, but definitely in Hong Kong, people use date, month, year. But, but in Python, the default one is month, date, year. Okay. If you want to indicate that the first one is year, just like in mainland China, year, month, date, you need to use the year first option. If you want to make it like in Hong Kong, uh, the is day, month, year, you should use the day first option. Okay. And this is um, uh, year, month, date. Okay. So DT is just a list of strings. Uh, we can use uh, two date time to process the elements, and you find that this function has converted the six different formats of date time information into a standard format of year, month, date. Okay, year, month, date. And if your year, if your year, month, date information doesn't have the hour minute and second information, um, the daytime function will convert it to uh, zero, okay? So sometimes you will have a problem like this, okay? It's going to be automatically recognized as year, month, date, okay? But for example, in Hong Kong, it can be um, 2012, November the 10th. In mainland China, it will be recognized as 2010, November 12th. In the US, it's 2012, October 11th. So if you know how to, uh, uh, this where this information is from and how to standardize it uh, you should use a option called year first okay 
See, it's uh, recognizing the first number as year. Okay, as year. What if I do this? It's going to recognize as 1999. What if I don't use the year function, a year option? Yes, it it will still be recognized as 1999. The first one will, the first number will be recognized as year because it cannot be a month or a date. Okay, this is the key. You can also use the day first. Then, um, different than the default setting, the month, day, year is recognized as day, month, year. So it's 2012, November the 10th. Okay. Um, some of the Daytime information is not standard. For example, this is uh, 2017 dollar sign one dollar sign five. Okay, any human can easily be recognized as this is 2015 January the fifth, but pandas cannot recognize it. To teach pandas to recognize it, to 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 translate it. We should use the format option. That is, this is this uh, is year, year dollar sign month dollar sign date. Then it's going to be recognized. If uh, if I use a month year, can I use year? I don't know. Um, then it's going to be something wrong. It does not match. Oh, uh, no, it does not match the uh, the formats. But if I do this, hmm, interesting. Why is that? But if I do year, month, and date, it, hmm. Oh, I see. You must have the year, because year is a capitalized year, so. Yeah, if I do this, it's going to be recognized as, uh, yeah, I think the, the reason is because I use the, the uppercase year, so uh, the uppercase year, you know, that it must be four digits, okay, um, if I do this, it's going to be 2010, um, December, and uh, 11th, or I can also do Like I completely mess it up. Then it's gonna be uh, 2011, October, mm -mm, October 12th. 2011, October 12th. Yes. So uppercase Y and uh, lowercase Y, they are different. So in the previous example, we convert the DT, which is a list of daytime information, to the standard format. Now we can do we want to convert this list of information to daytime format, but you have an error. This is because ABC is not standard, okay? 
ABC is not standard. So to still convert it, you can have two. You have two options to choose. One is the first one is ignore the 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 item that you cannot translate. So basically, uh, it is uh, exception handling. It's like try convert this. Try convert this um, string into a standard format, date date time format. If you cannot do it, you ignore it. Okay, except pass. So this is uh, this is the idea. Another way is, uh, but uh, another way is to use coerce option. Coerce option. The coerce, coerce means force you to do something. So if ABC cannot be converted to a daytime standard format, it's going to be forced to be a NAT. And for the uh, generally, uh, this format is going to be forced to be the standard format. Okay. Here, because they are recognizable date time format, so they are not converted. <clears throat> we can also have the other options like units. So this is a uh, second. Okay. Uh, so when the unit is second is converting this many second um, what is this uh, it's a thousand million billion 1.5 billion seconds and you want to convert it to a daytime so this is a uh, this is how many seconds have passed the things the 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 uh, the first year in history and uh, if you want to use the millisecond, you can also do this. And uh, like I mentioned before, uh, you have UTC and uh, box options to choose uh, to convert the, the dates to different standardized format. For example, this is uh, converting to the, this format. And uh, if you don't add this, it's going to be, uh, don't add the UTC, it's going to be like this, okay. So now it has a plus, this. it's a UTC format. And also you can have, uh, choose box as false. So you convert it into, a, let's see what the box equals to look like. It's going to be like this. So box is default as true, and UTC See how it looks like when it's false. Okay. So uh, UTC and uh, UTC is default to be false. Box is default to be true. And this is uh, date time. Okay. Next video we will talk about concat.